So what does this feel? So this is just a case study from the Kellogg School Manager. Kellogg? Yeah. So okay. it's the acquisition of Heinz. Ah, uh, it's the famous case. By 3G and Doshi Hathaway. What year was this? Uh, 2012, I believe. And Heinz, the Heinz family, uh, Senator uh, Kerry mm -hmm. married the Heinz heiress. Mm -hmm. And he's had two or three wives, all of which are billionaires. Yeah, he knew what he was doing, Pat. He knows how to marry. That was McCain, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, the she second yeah. largest beer distributor in the United States. Oh. He, his wife, I yeah. believe. Yeah. The widow of McCain. Yeah. And his, her father was the founder of that. Mm -hmm. Big company, too. Yeah. Twenty-eight billion seventy-two dollars a share. Here there was a breakup fee that we were talking about, and the breakup fee was seven hundred and fifty million. The breakup fee? Yeah. Okay. About five percent. Mm -hmm. Ten percent would have been no, no, it's two percent, two percent. So two point five percent. So this happened in two thousand and twelve, and the same. In 2006, they're saying six years before the talks, the market was booming, there was high uh, merchant acquisition activity, the profits were up, but uh, Heinz had, uh, in, the, in the first quarter, the losses piled up and the shareholders demanded changes. So in 2006, they had massive restructuring. Um, they closed down factories, eliminated 2,700 employees, and had a one billion dollar buyback. So they're saying that that was the base of a potential sale later down the road. Okay. So that, that's, that's why they're saying that happened in 2012. Was it 28 billion, 50-50 between Berkshire and 3G or? I'm not sure, I to open. In the same document, I think they're still okay. going to have structure. Um, just like that. Uh, Yeah, so we just need the pros and cons by when you set up our research at the markets of what happened. Uh, we haven't reached that stage yet. So we just need to do the pros and cons of the acquisition. And then that's it's been high, and so how was it, the, 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 uh, the 28 billion structure? It's cash? Uh, so Including the debt of Heinz. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is just the key dates. Various forms of legal or various trying to merge here. So we don't know where you're going to happen. Okay. Yeah. 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 Break up the there. And sir, so you're saying the, the breakup fees are really. What's a termination fee? For big deals. For big deals. What's, what's that? What's a, what's a termination fee? This. A reverse termination fee, it says. A reverse termination fee. Yeah. To project, to protect shareholders in the event that the buyers fail to complete the transaction. Okay, wow. well, that's, well, 
the uh, if it doesn't the, get through. The, well, that, the, actually, sure. the breakup fee is uh, uh, one point four plus seven fifty because the shareholders get one point four, the existing shareholders, and the lawyers and the accountants, and the lawyer and the accountants get seven fifty, as I read it. So Berkshire and 3G get 1.4 if they decide to pull out. No, no, no. The existing shareholders. Was that? Well, I don't think we have Berkshire Hathaway because Heinz was a public company. So the existing shareholders would get 1.4 billion if the deal collapsed uh -huh. because they couldn't uh, perform, and the lawyers and accountants are going to get 750. So Heinz would. So the real breakup fee is uh, 2.15. Two yeah, billions. Billions. Yeah. Is billion the same in German? Milliarden. Uh, yeah, they tried. Yeah, I remember when Heinz tried to acquire Hershey, right. which is still a private company. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I think you underestimate Markus' sales, salesmanship. <laughs> No, no, he has no, just no. Get the shit down. no, no, it's just a, no, he has a closing ratio from 70%. 70? I think we just need to analyze these uh, numbers just to see that. My closing ratio used to be 94.6. Uh, but uh, this is one thing I don't believe you. Well, um, you don't it's have to believe one me. One of the few things I don't believe you. Well, you don't have to believe me, but it's, it's true. It's really true. Yeah. <laughs> I went from the hammer to the hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> I used to use a sledgehammer to kill an ant. I believe in overkill. <laughs> okay. Will you figure this out? Yeah. You can tell me when I come back. Thank you. Okay.